Hey guys, all right, so today I'm so excited about today's recipe. If you follow me on Instagram, a few weeks ago I posted this post about me eating tacos in Queens, New York. I went to this food truck and it's like a popular type of tacos that's out there now. It's called Birria Tacos. It's also known as Wet Tacos. So I was like, it tasted so good, you guys, and I was like, I have to recreate this recipe. So in today's video, I'm recreating this recipe and I already know I'm gonna love it because yeah, it was so good. So yeah, guys. So here's the beef I'm using. I mean, this is beef chuck just cut into cubes. So the supermarket I went to, I couldn't find a full piece of like beef chuck for a roast. So I bought it in the cube and actually I think it's gonna work better cut into cubes because in the end we're gonna chop it up or shred it all right so this is my beef truck cut into cubes I already washed it so for this recipe we're gonna start by using clean pepper towels and I'm just gonna uh, dry up the extra water in the beef I don't want it to be too wet and then we're gonna season it so next I'm gonna show you guys the seasonings that I'm using in the beef so the first thing we're gonna be making is a consume um, a beef consume excuse me you guys if I'm not pronouncing the words right because yeah. so this is a Spanish recipe a Mexican dish okay so yeah so this is my beef and to season it I'm going to be using some black pepper, some salt, some chili powder, some ground onion, a little bit of cinnamon powder, paprika, garlic powder, some oregano, ground cumin. And I mixed all of those seasonings in this bowl right here, okay? Also, later on, I'm gonna be using some beef bouillon cubes. Also gonna be using bay leaves in the consume sauce. Okay, so I chopped up some onion and other seasonings, right? So in this plate, I have half of an onion diced up and about three to four cloves of minced garlic all right in this plate I have diced onions some minced garlic of a three to four cloves also some pimento pepper now the pimento pepper is optional but I just love cooking with pimento peppers I add it and it has great flavor if you can't find it you don't have to put it and a few sprigs of fresh thyme all right, so this is gonna be for my consume and it's gonna go into the soup, all right? Now, this plate of onion and garlic, it's also gonna go into the consume soup, but I'm gonna be blending it with some chili peppers, all right? So, oh, put this aside for now and let's season up the beef. So to season the beef, I'm using this mixture I have right here and I'm just gonna add a little bit of it about half of it or less and just fully coat the beef with it okay I'm reserving some of the seasonings in the bowl cuz I'm gonna pour it straight in the uh, consuming when we're making it Okay, so now that my beef is fully coated with the seasoning mixture, now I'm gonna cover it and I'm gonna let it marinate for at least one hour. If you have time and you can leave it for longer than one hour, do so so that it can absorb maximum flavor, okay? So, yeah. All right guys, so in this small pot right here, I added some water and to it, I'm gonna add this right here so it's chili peppers I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right so I'm not gonna pronounce it but it's a ch type of chili pepper and you look for this right here Wahio pepper and I bought it from my local supermarket 
and it's dried chili pepper so I'm gonna use about four to five so yeah this is it right here and all I'm gonna do is cut off the end part right here this piece and I'm gonna remove the seeds inside I'm just gonna throw it out okay so I'm gonna use six of the peppers okay so to remove the seeds just use your hands or a knife to open up the pepper like that and then you're gonna wash or use your hands to remove the seeds inside okay so put the peppers in the pot cover it let it come to a boil and then I'm gonna let it boil for about 20 minutes or so and then we'll move on to blending up the peppers with some other ingredients all right so it's boiling so now I'm gonna let it boil over medium heat for about 20 minutes or so. I want it to get soft and so that it's not so dry anymore. So yeah. Okay you guys, so I'm turning the peppers off the stove now. As you can see, they're softened and that's what you're looking for. So I boil them for about 15 to 20 minutes. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm taking them out of the pot and I'm placing them. We have to blend them. So I'm using my uh, nutri bullet. You can use your blender and just place it into the blender. I'm also gonna pour a little bit of the sauce, not much, with the pepper. So I'm gonna be using this right here, chipotle peppers in adobo sauce, all right? And you can find this in the sauce slash Spanish section in your grocery store. So I'm gonna add about three of the chipotle peppers. I'm also gonna add in the second plate with the uh, minced garlic and the uh, diced up onion so I'm adding the onion and the garlic in here and now I'm gonna blend it so I already added a little bit of the liquid from the peppers in there so if you need more liquid to blend it just use that liquid or you can use water okay so yeah I'm gonna blend this up and I'll be back okay you guys so I got myself a big pot and I have it over medium high heat and now I'm gonna add in some oil just enough oil to coat the bottom of the pan okay next I'm taking the beef and I'm just drop it in the oil and what I'm looking to do is to sear the beef all over so I want a nice brown crust all over the pieces of the beef okay so try not to overcrowd the pot. If you need to do this in batches, do it in batches. So uh, sear some of the beef, take it out, sear the remaining, and then you just put all back into the pot. Okay, so now I'm gonna give the beef a stir and turn it to the other side. So, if you can see this color right here, this is the color you're looking for all over the beef, all right? So every three to four minutes, just a stir to flip it to the other side to get the other side nicely browned also. Okay guys, so the beef is browned very nicely. As you can see, so I'm turning my heat down to medium low heat. Now I'm gonna add in this, the diced onions, the pimento peppers, the garlic, and the fresh sprigs of thyme. So add all of that into the beef. And now I'm gonna give that a mix. Mix it with the beef in the pot, all right? so good and it smells so good all right so just give that a slight mix and here is the blended peppers and onion and garlic it smells so good 
So now I'm gonna add it into the pot with the beef. Give that a mix. And remember, I have my uh, heat on medium to medium low heat. And what I'm gonna do now is add some water in the pot, but I'm gonna add it in here to get all of that good stuff into the pot as well, and then add the water in there, okay? Now I'm also gonna add in the remaining seasoning blend that we had from when we was seasoning the beef and just give that a mix into the pot. So I'm adding in some more water. Now I'm gonna add in some ground clothes because I forgot to add it in the beginning with the other seasonings. So I'm adding in some, mix it into the dish. I'm also gonna add in a few bay leaves. Okay, so now I'm adding in the beef bouillon cube and just mix that into the dish as well. And now I'm gonna cover it and let it come to a boil. Okay, so now that it's boiling, I'm gonna reduce the heat to medium to medium low heat. And basically we're gonna let the beef cook until it's tender, soft, and then we're gonna uh, shred it or chop it up. Either way is fine, all right? Also taste the sauce. Now is a good time. You can start tasting the sauce and seeing if you need to adjust any seasonings, okay? I'm gonna add in some salt and I'm also gonna add in one more cube of beef bouillon. All right, and now just leave it, let it take its time and cook. So it's been about an hour to two hours. If you're using a bigger piece of beef, it's gonna take longer for the beef to become tender, but since mine is cut up into small pieces, it didn't take that long, all right? So as you can see, it's soft, very tender, and very soft. So first I'm gonna remove the oil on top, so that dark orange on top, any oil on top, you're going to remove it and I'm putting it in a bowl. You need it for the tacos, okay? So, do your best and just skim the top and remove any fat. Okay guys, so I removed the beef from the sauce. I also skimmed out the fat on top of the soup and I put it in a separate bowl. Okay, and here's the beef that I removed, okay? I also, while I was removing the beef, I took out any bay leaves and the sprigs of thyme that I found. So now, all I'm gonna do is chop up the meat. You could also shred it, because it'll be very easy to shred. I'm probably gonna shred it, it's easier. So I'll shred it, um, and I'll be back. So I'm finished shredding the beef, as you can see. So now I'm gonna take it and I'm putting these back into the sauce because I already separated the ones that I'm gonna use for the tacos. I put them on this plate right here. Okay, so but this is for the tacos and these are gonna go back into the soup. I'm gonna show you guys how to make the tacos so this is basically it for the sauce so this is the uh, tortillas I'm using it's corn tortillas all right so take the tortilla wrap I already have my frying pan on the stove getting hot and you're gonna deep the wrap in this fat so fully coat it into the um, especially the outside in this oil okay and then I'm gonna place it on my tray to start uh, putting my toppings. Take some of that shredded beef and place it on one side of the taco, like that. Try not to overstuff it, but you wanna add a good amount. And then I'm gonna put some diced red onions, a little bit of cilantro, not much. Some shredded cheese. The cheese is optional, you don't have to do it. Like when I tried it in Queens from the food truck, it didn't have cheese on it. So yeah. 
and I'm using this cheese right here a white mixture of Italian cheese you could also use a Mexican blend cheese all right and then I'm just gonna fold it over like this and we're gonna put it in the pot so yeah once the pot is hot you just take the taco and place it in the pan use a pot spoon to help keep it folded by pressing it down all right so I'm just full finishing up prep the other tacos and placing them into the pan also you don't need to add any oil that's the purpose of dipping the tortilla into that uh, fat from the sauce okay so no oil all right guys so after about three minutes or so because you want the tacos to get crispy on both sides i'm going to flip it to the other side let it get nice and crunchy also don't burn them you just want it to get nice and crispy and then i'm going to start taking them out one by one and placing them on a plate and i'm going to finish making the rest of my tacos also with this recipe you control how much of the beef you remove from the sauce to make with the tacos okay so yeah okay and here are my finished tacos they look absolutely delicious and they taste even better you guys so now let's make ourselves a plate so i'm pouring some of the consume and then i'm gonna take my tacos and i'm gonna dip it in it So the way you're supposed to eat these delicious tacos, of course you can eat them by yourself, but it's more fun to take the taco and dip it into the consume, and then you take a big delicious bite. But yeah, you guys, that's it for this recipe. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the recipe. And I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Bye.